Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about what is up with electric tattoos. These videos have become so popular on Instagram lately. I see them all the time on my explore page. I'm sure you guys have seen one or two. They're so interesting. Honestly, really cool to look at. I could just scroll through this page all day. This is done by Maxim Sipakov. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But their at is m.sipakov underscore official on Instagram. Such an interesting way to show tattoos and to highlight the art. And I just think it's the coolest thing. So this is video editing and it's really incredible digital work by Maxim. But none of these tattoos emit light on their own. Or do they glow like how a UV tattoo might glow under black light? But as it turns out, electric tattooing might actually be a little bit closer to reality than you might think. And there are scientists literally working on this right now. Let's first discuss what UV tattoos are and how they differ from potential electric tattooing. So UV tattoos are done with a ultraviolet light reactive ink and they shine or glow under a black light. Something to keep in mind is that these aren't glow-in-the-dark tattoos. You do need the black light to see the reflection of the UV ink. The tattoo artist Tukoi, I hope I'm saying that right as well, does these tattoos a lot. Um, I believe that they are located in Perth in Australia at a private studio. A lot of the tattoos that they do incorporate kind of like a minimal accent of the UV ink to highlight certain parts of the design. So I think that's when UV tattoos really work is when certain parts are highlighted and it makes the thing really pop in black light, but also it looks like a great tattoo in normal light as well. I definitely have to point out this rainbow fish tattoo because it's giving me all those nostalgic feelings. I used to love this book so much as a kid. So this is definitely my favorite one. So Tukoi was interviewed by Inked Magazine about the UV tattoos that they do and they are quoted to have said, quote, the consistency of the brand I use is pretty thin and opaque. So when you're doing solid patches of color, you need to be really careful not to overwork the skin because it feels like more of a gray wash than a normal color to apply. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind if you do want to get a UV tattoo. You want to go to someone who is experienced in this and will design something for you that really fits the aesthetic of the UV effect. Of course, with UV tattoos, there is some concern about the ingredients that make the tattoo glow under black light being in your skin. So phosphorus used to be a really popular ingredient to use in UV inks to make it ultraviolet light reactive. But after concerns that phosphorus is actually quite toxic to us in high levels, a lot of ink manufacturers have switched over to using zinc sulfide instead of phosphorus in the UV inks, which is apparently a lot more natural and less toxic for our bodies. So zinc sulfide is an ingredient that is approved by the FDA for use in cosmetics. If you've been watching my channel, you will know that the FDA does not regulate tattoo ink. So if you are concerned about levels of toxicity or possible phosphorus in UV ink, definitely just check with your artist beforehand. So UV tattoos are pretty cool and you definitely get that glow lightning effect under black light, but they're not electricity on your skin, which is what we are going to talk about next. So this first one is more of like a temporary tattoo with a little electric light attached to it. So think of those like gumball machine tattoos you might have done as a kid that you like kind of stick on yourself like a sticker and then you would put like a damp paper towel over and then the tattoo would be there. If you're tattooed now, let me know if you did those as a kid because I did and now I'm thinking that's the reason I'm tattooed now. So here is the device that they have made and this was developed by a team of researchers working at the Italian Institute of Technology. And you'll see it's on like a clear square. So that clear like piece of acrylic right there, that's not a part of the tattoo. It's just that top layer of like a greenish little tiny little light. It seems like they haven't yet tested this out on skin to my knowledge, but they did put it on a soda bottle and an orange skin. So you can see that this thing is super small and definitely fits on your skin, kind of like those temporary tattoos would just like a super transparent single layer. 
One of the doctors on the team, Dr. Matoli, says that one day it will be possible to embed all necessary components in the transferable tattoo itself. So including all of the electric components that you would need to light up the tattoo. So these are being developed for medical purposes, but it is fun to think about the possible artistic implications of these machines, of these devices. So the next one that I have to show you guys is much more similar to an actual tattoo that we're more familiar with. And while it's not injecting ink into the layers of your skin, there still is that clear bandage, but what researchers at Duke have done, actually this year in 2021, is that they developed a special ink that contains silver nanowires that are printed onto the body. They are flexible and electrically conductive. Here's an image of what they have created on one of the researchers' pinky fingers. And you can see those two silver lines are the ink that was printed onto the body is what they say. So I believe they have some sort of printing machine that did this. And there's a small little LED light at the bottom. So this is definitely really cool. Also, they're trying to develop this for medical reasons. But the researchers are interested in what this might mean for artistic implications. In an interview, one of the researchers said that they could imagine that you might be able to one day have a tattoo that could be essentially switched on and off for whenever you would like to have that tattoo on you. What's funny is that later in the article that I will have linked below, one of the professors working on electric tattooing said that this might be a fun thing to have for potential dates because they said that the tattoo designs could light up to reveal when someone's heart is beating faster. So this could make dates more interesting and you could see who has an increased heartbeat when they're talking to you. This is all really in the very beginning stages of development. So I don't know how close we are to those Instagram tattoos that we saw in the beginning of this video, but it is something to think about and I personally think it's really interesting. And you never know, in the future we might have lights on our skin and that might be totally normal. I think it's fun and interesting to think about, but you guys have to let me know what you think. Is this something that you see might be a potential cool new thing for us? Or is this just too out there and different in your opinion. Definitely let me know, but if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know you're a real one. Bye guys.